everybody, so today I'm going to do a video all, all about my favorite bold lipsticks. So if you've been watching my channel recently, I recently did a favorite nude lipsticks video that I will link up, up here, right here. Well, a lot of you guys told me that you wanted to see like collection favorites come back again. So I um, am going to bring that back and start doing a little bit more collection favorites video. By the way, there is a tutorial on this eye look and this makeup. I just popped on this lipstick for this video because I did have a nude on, which is ridiculous because when I filmed my nude lipsticks video, I had done a tutorial for a look right before that and I was wearing a bold lip and now I'm doing a look, originally this look had a nude lip and I'm doing a bold do you see how it just kind of flip-flopped there? Anyways, I asked you all on Instagram polls, which is like my new favorite thing ever, but um, I asked you all on an Instagram poll. Oh, I have lipstick on my teeth. If y'all wanted to see my favorite bold lips or my favorite highlights, and it was really, really close, but bold lips won. I will do my highlights next, though. So if you want to see my favorite bold lipsticks, then just keep watching. Let's just start off with the one that I'm wearing right now, and we'll start off kind of in the pink category. I have it kind of going pink to red to bright red to orange because that's pretty much the color scheme that I work in when I wear bold colors. I don't really wear a lot of like really out there colors like grays. I don't wear a ton of browns actually even though I feel like I should. Um, and then I don't do a lot of like purples and I don't do a lot of pinks. There's only two pinks that I'm going to talk about but these ones are my favorite. So this one that I am wearing right now is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Punky. This one is an OG. I have had this one for so long. It's a satin finish. It's beautiful. It's super opaque. It's a fun Barbie pink with a little bit of kind of... This one has more of a blue undertone. I think there's one called Rocket that has a little bit more of a coral undertone that I love as well. But I just love the like funness of this color. And it's just so nice and comfortable on the lips. It does stay which I'm gonna say right here because I'm gonna let you know if any of these stain a lot of you guys whenever I talk about how I don't like how a lipstick stains you say that you do because that means if it wears off you know you're you weren't gonna be able to like really tell because there's the color underneath for me I wear bold lips so not often that when a bold lip stains I hate it and most of the time it just turns my lips pink and that is not a look that I normally like unless it's purposefully pink, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna throw that disclaimer out there. When I say it stains, it's a bad, it's a bad thing, but if it's a good thing for you, then hey, whatever floats your boat. So anyways, this shade does stain, but it's $5. It's beautiful. It's opaque. It's really comfortable on the lips. It has a nice shine to it, and it's just like a fun, cute Barbie pink. Also, can we talk about it for a second? Can we talk about it second for a second? The bigger the hoop, the closer to God. By the way, pretty much any hoops you ever see me wear are always from Claire's. Okay. <laughs> There's so much, there's so much lipstick on my teeth. Okay, next fun pink is actually one that I haven't tried a ton, but I fell so hard in love with it when I tried it in the tutorial that I did before the nude lipsticks video, which again, I will link up here. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Respect the Pink. This is such a cool color. It's very, very cool toned. It will make your teeth look yellow, but who cares? Just rock it anyways. And just look at that. It's like a really, really fun lilac, hot, hot pink. So much fun. This is such a fun, like, clubbing color, festival color, spring color. I don't care what you wear it to, but it is freaking fun. And the liquid suede formula, I will say that some of the bolder colors are not my favorite because they do kind of bleed and they don't really tend to stay where you put them. So for a lot of the bold colors, I don't prefer the liquid suedes, but this one is really, really nice and I love the color. It's just so much fun. And that's it for pinks. That's all I have for pinks. So, like I said, I'm not a pink gal. I don't prefer pink, but when I do, those are the ones that I like. Okay, let's get into kind of burgundies, darker shades. I only, I don't have a ton of bold lips to talk about, but these ones are my favorite. The darkest one in this lot that you have seen me wear a million and five times, this is honestly when I want a dark, bold lip, this is my absolute go-to and is probably, with maybe the exception of another one, this one is probably my most worn. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Cat Suit in the shade Goth Topic. I love this shade. I wish their applicators were a little bit cleaner because, I mean, you can see it's super kind of messy, but this shade is so pretty. It's like a dark purpley burgundy brown 
it is so pretty really opaque really comfortable I mean it looks streaky on my hand but it's not when it's on your lips I promise it is so beautiful and so just like deep and rich and bold and sexy it is my favorite they stay really really well it stays where you put it it doesn't bleed and it's just such a awesome just vampy deep shade I love it so again this is the wet n wild mega cat suit in goth topic okay the next one I actually do have another liquid suede to talk about and this is actually a metallic which metallic lips have not been my favorite trend I just I don't know, I'm just not into the metallic lip trend. It's not anything that's ever really piqued my curiosity, but there is an exception, and it is this one. This is the Metallic Liquid Suede in the shade Biker Babe, and I like this. I like a lot of the Metallic Liquid Suedes, actually. The, like, of all the, like, metallic lipsticks and liquid lipsticks that I've tried, um, the Liquid Suede, suede formula is my favorite because it's not incredibly metallic. It honestly just kind of makes your lips look a little glossy, almost, and this shade is so stunning. So this is again in the shade Biker Babe. Oh, hand swatches are the worst. It's a nice, really, really pretty burgundy shade. And as you can see, the like metallic effect isn't like anything crazy. It just honestly, again, makes your lips, it just gives it a little bit of a sheen to make your lips look a little bit juicy. Awesome, beautiful burgundy shade. I love this. It has a little bit of purple in there. It's a very unique burgundy to me. And it's just, it's so stunning. And again, the metallic ness of this just adds a little bit of interest to your lips and isn't it's not just like a flat matte burgundy lip it just has a little bit of something to it but you do I do find that these are dry down more than the regular liquid suede so you do get a better wear out of this in my opinion next one I have to talk about is the ColourPop I think this is an ultra satin lip but it's completely worn off and this is in the shade freaking frack now obviously depending on your skin tone this would be a bold lip or not if you are me Medium to fair to porcelain skin this would be a little bit well medium skin this may not be a ton of a bold lip but y'all know what I'm saying these are bold lips for fair skin because obviously I have fair skin um, but again this shade might not be the most bold if you have a deeper skin tone but either way it's stunning and you need it again this is in the shade frickin frack this is another one that I have had in my collection for a very very long time and it is just such a beautiful mauve burgundy like as you can see it's not as red as this one it's more on the mauve side a little bit more on the cool tone side it's stunning it's like perfect kind of deeper 90s lip the ultra satin lips are very comfortable very opaque I mean as you can see super opaque super pretty I just love this shade and this one is another one that's been in my collection for a very very long time and is just one of those just kind of ride or die colors where if I want an easy bold lip I can just reach for this and it's just like effortless and looks awesome this one is one of those ones where when I was like looking through my makeup collection there were ones that were very very obvious to me I was like oh I need to talk about this one I need to talk about this one I need to talk about this one but this one was one of those where I was just like I should talk about this one because this one is stunning it's so pretty and nobody talks about these it's the makeup geek iconic lipsticks which when makeup geek launched their lip line a lot of the lip products that they launched I really wasn't that that big of a fan of like I could make them work but I just wasn't a big fan of them but the iconic lipsticks were something I really really enjoyed and I just didn't reach for them because I just kind of like hid them away in my makeup collection but this color is stunning it's so beautiful it really lasts a long time and it's very very comfortable on the lips and this is in the shade saucy I will say that these stain like a motherfucker like I literally just swatched one and it just like will not come off of my skin um so if that concerns you wear foundation and maybe a lip liner underneath or something but these are stunning I just felt like when Makeup Geek launched their iconic lipsticks the kind of the shades and the finishes that they chose just kind of didn't really mesh up for me like I was like I feel like this shade would be better in a matte or I feel like this shade would be better in a satin and it was just kind of weird anyways this one is one that is just like perfect it's the, again this is the shade saucy and this is a stunning red like do you see that opacity on one swipe and then two just makes it so oh my god it's just like it's one of my perfect red shades it's just like a perfect congealed blood red it's so pretty it's a matte finish and it feels like powder on your lips but it's not super super drying on the lips and just like can you just can, Oh, 
it speaks for itself. It's such a stunning red. These are relatively affordable, and I just think they're very, very underhyped for how good some of these are. Okay, then we have a couple more red shades. The first I feel like you all will see coming. This is probably my favorite red, and it is Kat Von D's Nosferatu. This is my go-to pinup red. This is my go-to bold, bright, fun sexy red. This is so pretty. The only thing is, is it can be a little streaky, which sucks because this is like one of the best red colors that I could find. I hate, P.S., I hate pink reds and like I hate any sort of red with pink in it. So if your perfect red has pink in it, you will not find it here. I really prefer the more blue toned reds, sometimes an orange red, but really I prefer those blue toned rich blood red colors. So again, this is in the shade Nosferatu and it is just the perfect red. It's stunning. It's again, this is like when I'm doing pinup looks and when I'm just doing like a classic simple eye and red lip, this is what I go to. The formula is nice. This one isn't as streaky as like Vampira or some of the other darker ones that I've tried. It's not as streaky, but sometimes it can dry just a little bit patchy, but it tends to like kind of even itself out if you just apply one more layer. So it's not as bad as some of them, but it can be a little patchy, but it's worth it because this color. <laughs> this color is the most perfect red. Ever. How many times can I say that? Next one I have to talk about is I feel like it's really, really similar to Nosferatu, but this one I've just been reaching for more often when I've been, like lately, when I've been going for a red lip. This is the one I've been reaching for. This is the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mortis, and this again is a really, really nice blood red. I'll swatch it for ya. Ooh, such a pretty red. I feel like it's, ugh, it's it's pretty much identical to Nosferatu. Like pretty much, am I duped that? KL, hire me. It's pretty much the exact same as Nosferatu, but it's really, really pretty. I will say that these, this specific formula, I feel like Black Moon had multiple formulas because one of the Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks that I have is really similar to a liquid suede, and this one is like a ultra matte lip. It is very matte and it can be drying and a little flaky, but again, the color is so, so pretty, and this is just the one that I've just been reaching for, so I feel like I had to talk about it because it's the one I've been going for when I want a bold red lip, which has been more often than usual lately. I've been going for more bold lips lately. What's happening with me? Okay, this next one we're getting into more oranges, which orange is probably one of my favorite bold lip colors. This is a color that like, it's not the most bold, but it's definitely not a nude. And again, depending on your skin tone, it may be a nude for you. But anyways, this is the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever Ofra Liquid Lipstick. I love this color. It's an amazing like burnt terracotta orange and I love the formula. This looks like it could, this could definitely be a nude for people. This is definitely a nude for some people, but for me, it's bold because I'm white. Um, it's so stunning. It's a beautiful, it looks so much lighter. Anyways, it's a beautiful terracotta, warm, orangey shade, but it's like a muted orange. So if you want to try an orange lip, but you're afraid of some of the ones I'm going to talk about next, go for this one. It gives you an orange hue without being a bold orange. Now, if you want a bold orange, does mama got some stuff? for you. So the first one I want to talk about is definitely my favorite bold liquid lipstick because it is just so loud and this like this liquid lipstick commands attention. It is so amazing. This is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Agogo. This is neon. Like neon orange. Look at that. Again, it commands attention. You walk into a room wearing this and you're like, oh bitch, she ain't playing. Like this is so stunning, so bold, so orange, so neon, so perfect. I cannot get over this color. Again, this color just makes me so happy and so just like excited. And I, who knew a lip color could do that? But it's true. Lip colors really just, they get you going. Um, again, probably my favorite, like, it's not the one that I wear the most, but it's my favorite in that it makes my heart the most happy. You know what I mean? So again, this is Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Agogo. Definitely 
favorite. Now if you want a little bit more affordable of an option, this one isn't as neon, but it's still a really, really awesome, bold orange lip. And it's again from none other than Kathleen Lights, who is another YouTuber that loves orange lips. This is her newest collab with ColourPop, and this is the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Rêve. Rêvier is French for dream, and it is stunning. It, like, when, <clears throat> when I ordered it, I was expecting it to be a lot more red, but it really is very, very orange. Like, obviously, compared to a go-go, it's more red, but if you're just comparing it, if you're comparing it to red lips, it's extremely orange, but it it's a little bit deeper, a little hint of a red in there, and it's just so beautiful and so much fun and it's an ultra satin lip so it's very comfortable but it still stays in its place really well you knew Kathleen Lights was going to come out with a great orange lip and she did it is so much fun I love this shade okay and then for my last one I have another liquid suede to talk about and this one is in the shade foiled again this one is again another orange but this one is unique in that it's more of a sherbet color it's more of like a coral and also NYX does have awesome liquid suede's in orange shades like if I can just do an honor honorable mention here Orange County is a fantastic neon bright orange I just haven't had a ton of experience wearing it um, but this one is just super unique I think it's so pretty it's like again a neon orange but more on the coral spectrum so as you can see compared to the other two it is compared to the other two it is more coral more peachy again it's just so much fun and so bright this is such an awesome like spring shade i love this color so 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 much so again the liquid suede has have awesome bright shades if you're looking for affordable accessible bright lipsticks all right everybody and those are my favorite bold lipsticks obviously this video wasn't as like extensive as my nude lipsticks because I am a nude lipstick gal I just prefer a nude lip because my favorite part of makeup is eyeshadow so I usually go for like bolder eyeshadows and then I just want the lips to just let the eyeshadow talk you know what I mean so it's not as extensive as some again like my nude lipsticks video or as extensive as my highlighter video is going to be but um these are the ones that I absolutely love and absolutely go to all the time when I want a bold lip comment down below and let me know one what's your favorite bold lip color to wear like do you like pinks do you like reds do you like purples and then what your favorite specific bold lipstick is so I can look into it and see if I need it in my collection I love you all so much again there is a tutorial for this look I believe it's going up next after this video so when it is up it will be linked down below in the description box I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye, bye.